Hello and welcome Capricorn. This is your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share because this really helps the, um, the channel out. And if you um, want um, more readings, you can follow me on TikTok because on TikTok I will do um, a card a day, a very short reading every day or, or a card every day, just for each day, right? So if you want to have a sort of, you know, a bit of guidance for the day, TikTok is the place to be. In any case, what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of October 2023 <coughs> for your sign of Capricorn. Before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, or if there's love coming in, that sort of energy. Before we then lastly look into your uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October. Now, regardless of what the guides are saying here, October um, is the energy of new beginnings, of starting over. Uh, simply because um, September has the number nine, nine is the number of completion. So we're, we're changing, everything is changing around us and so, are, uh, um, and so are energies. But the point I'm getting is, before we even go into what the guides are saying to you, is to understand that if you want something from someone, you have to be proactive. Okay, that's just that. And now we have a look at what the guides are saying to you with regards to the overall energy for the months of October 2023 for the sign of sorry, <laughs> Capricorn. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, here we go. Right. So you have a lot of blue in your energy. Um, but you also have sort of, well, it's hard to explain, regular blue, and then you have sapphire blue. So there's a lot of metal energy in your, um, in your reading. And, and while in the Western world we don't use the element of metal anymore, um, and it's, it's, it's more like um, uh, an Asian thing, and you will find it's still used in um, Chinese astrology. Point is, metal is associated with building and regenerating um, and getting strength from doing just that. And blue is about communication. So what the guides are saying is, anything and everything that, that life throws at you this month, um, instead of going into argumentative energy, you know, choose your words wisely, but speak up. And because you have the energy of, of a metal here, you also have to regenerate um, your, your physicality um, to be able to speak better. So the point here is, um, if you are a person that is a bit under the weather, that feels a bit tired, um, then looking at your body and how, sounds a bit weird, how fit your body is and how much movement you do, um, Focus on it. If you are a person that is by default already quite, you know, agile, then transfer this also to how you communicate, right? So what I'm getting is, is, is no separation from whatever it is you're doing, but there has to be, ought to be a physicality to things, right? The more, the more um, proactive you, you are, right? If that makes sense, the better this is. So the point I'm getting here is with, with the most metal, that your metabolism obviously automatically will be affected by whatever life throws at you and you have a higher metabolism you have a better way of moving about you also have a better way of um of communicating right really really important that's all we got for the overall energy for the months of october 2023 for the sign of capricorn and now we're looking into your emotion core see if there's love coming in and that sort of stuff let's have a look Right. <laughs> I'm just, um, this just cracks me up because you have communication coming up straight away, right? Um, so 
So. Sorry, there's another text coming. There's a text coming soon. Let me just look at this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm recording this on one of the hottest days of the year. <laughs> and um, have been getting tons of um, distractions here uh, on my phone. Um, so my apologies. Now we're looking at your emotional core for the month of October. And what you have is communication. But also, apart from that, you have exploration. So, we already looked at your overall energy. In your overall energy, everything was about, you know, communicating better, more effectively. And when it comes to relationships, manifesting love, you have the energy of communicating well. So this is obviously, uh, since this is coming up again, this seems to be your main message here for this reading is to communicate well this month. Um, and at the same time, when it's when you have the energy of exploration, what the guides are saying to you is, which is also the energy of reflection. So if you are in a relationship and then, um, you know, I, I, I presume you explored that relationship um, or are in the middle of doing so, the point the guides are making is, don't stay with what isn't working for you. Don't repeat what hasn't worked for you. That kind of energy. Explore where are you in the scheme of things um, and then manifest accordingly. All right. That is really, really important. And now we're moving on to the um, opportunities at the percentage of CU in the month of October 2023. Um, before we do this, I just want to quickly share for you. I just want to quickly share with you that I'm now a an executive contributor uh, for an amazing online magazine called Brains. Um, this is all about uh, empowerment, uh, self empowerment, helping people being being um, in a better mood, in a better mind. But also um, there are tricks, tricks, and tricks. Tr tr <laughs> What's the word? Tips. That's the word. Tips about, uh, you know, business and all that kind of stuff, entrepreneurship. But it all comes from people that have been handpicked by the magazine. And it all comes from a holistic point of view. Um, and I'm writing uh, articles uh, for the mindfulness section for the Brains magazine. Um, so please, please, please check this out. You can find the information uh, for this in the description box below. Now, when it comes to opportunity... For the sign of Capricorn, for the months of October 2023, you have, they're not opposing, but you have energies that need follow, following up. You have faith in your dreams, you know, have faith in your dreams, and your hard work is paying off. The interesting thing is that you have the new moon and you have the waxing crescent moon. So, the new moon is new beginnings and then when it is waxing instead of waning um, this is about growth but when it comes to have faith in your dreams what the guides are saying is if there's anything you always wanted to do but have never done now is the time to understand that following your dreams is not an unreasonable thing to do so what I'm getting is, is for you not to just blindly follow what you've always done and then think, you know, um, that you all of a sudden will find happiness there. So while there are opportunities, um, it feels like it is important for you to reflect on where you're going in the scheme of things. And if this really is the direction you want to keep going towards. OK. So that's all we have. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. See you all very soon. Bye bye.